Hello guys, this is Vikas from MATLAB Helper. In this video, let's go through how to program STM32 microcontroller using Simulink and STM Cube MX software. We will be using ARM Kyle IDE as a tool sim. Let's get started. If you are watching our video but have not subscribed to our channel, please do it now and support us. Before programming STM32, let's go through what all softwares will be requiring. We'll be requiring MATLAB and Simulink. And in MATLAB, we'll be requiring three more add-on packages, namely MATLAB coder, Simulink coder, and Embedded coder. From the side of ST Microelectronics, we'll be requiring two more softwares. They are STM32 Cube MX software and STM32 MAT which is a target toolkit to develop STM32 applications. And we'll be requiring any one of the tool chain and we'll be using MDK ARM from Kale in this video. To download these softwares, open your favorite browser and start typing STM32 Simulink. From the first link, we will be downloading STM32 Math software. This is a target toolkit to develop STM32 applications. Scroll down, you'll be getting a uh, link to download the software. Click this option and then accept this. Enter the credentials and then download. To download the STM32 Cube MX software, type STM32 Cube MX. From the first link, we will be downloading the STM32 Cube MX software. Scroll down, choose the link according to your voice. To download the MDK ARM Kyle software, type Kyle MDK. From the first link, we will be downloading this software. Using this option, you can download the software. After downloading all the softwares, Open MATLAB and go to this option called Set Path and then add with subfolder and then go to the MATLAB and HTM32 MAT, HTM32 and select this folder. Basically, this is the folder. Uh, this folder will be created if you have successfully installed the first software that we have discussed. And after selecting that folder and then after save, you'll be getting all these STM32 mat files here. After this, you'll be requiring few more add-ons to be installed. So go to this add-ons option. and type embedded coder. So install the first one that you'll be getting embedded coder and also you'll be requiring the MATLAB coder and also the Simulink coder. Scroll down, you'll be finding that. Yeah, here it is. So install all these three add-ons. Now open the STM32 Cube MX software and create a new project by using the option called access to MCU selector. In this video, we'll be using blue pill, uh, which has MCU namely STM32 F103C8. And then select the MCU and then click start project. So this is the STM32 F103C8. Now we need to set the clock. So go to the system core and then RCC 
and then go with the high speed clock and use the ceramic resonator now set the gpi was uh, as an example we'll be using we'll be testing the blink led blink built in led blink of the blue pill and inbuilt led is connected to the pc 13 pin of the mcu so select the pc 13 and then set it as gpi output now go to the project manager and before going to the project manager we, we need to change the pin configurations so go with the gpio and then modify the pin configurations in the options uh, select the gpio pull up or pull down to the pull up and then set the maximum output speed to medium and then name this pin of whatever you want so let's go with the led zero or just the led Now go to project manager, name your project, let's go with blink and choose the basic application structure and then browse the path like wherever you want to save the file. I am going with the save folder and with this open and tool chain in this video will be using the MDK arm and go with that and my version is uh, 5.7 and choose the choose the one that you have and then save it and open the and generate the code close this dialog box and then open matlab now go to the folder that you have saved your blink In the same folder, create a new Simlink model and name that Simlink model with the same name. Now open that Simlink model. Before modeling the uh, Simlink model, we need to ch change a few model settings go with this option model settings and then uh, change the stop time to infinity and then the solver selection the solver type as the fixed step and then click enter and go to the solver details here instead of auto go with uh, 1 milli 1 into e power minus 3 and then apply and then uh, we should also change the few model configurations in the code generation uh, you'll be not getting this option if you fail to install the three add-on packages that we have discussed earlier so make sure that you install those three add-ons and then double click the code generation and then the system target file will be we should be selecting the stm32.tlc so browse it select stm32.tlc and then click apply now in code generation you should be getting this stm32 options and then uh, check this checkbox and then update the installed path now uh, just apply these changes and then click OK. Now let's start building our Blink model. Open library browser and then you will be finding the target support package. If you didn't find this target support package, make sure that you install the uh, STM32 uh, MAT support packages software properly. In this target support package, go to the MCU config option. There you can find the STM32 config block and then add this block to the model. Double click this block. We'll be getting an option to select the STM32 configuration file, which is in I which is in IOC format, and then go with the same folder where you have saved that IOC file and then click the file. Here it is blink, blink.ioc 
and then open that file apply the changes and then click ok now we need to select the GPIO blocks go with the library browser and then here you can find the GPIO option since we need the output so select the GPIO write block add block to the model now double click this GPIO block and then select the pin number and the pin number is GPIO C and pin 13 and then apply and then ok since we need LED to blink let's go with the pulse generator so add the pulse generator block and then we'll be inputting this pulse generator output to this GPI box double click the pulse generator and then go the pulse uh, keep the pulse type as the uh, sample based and period as 2 and let's go with the 50% duty cycle so 50% of 2 is 1 and the sample time is 1 one second and then apply ok now compile this model uh, you can compile this model by going to this modeling tab and then update model it will be taking some time I'll be skipping this part yeah it's done so go to apps now we need to build our project so in the apps select the uh, embedded coder app and then build this project using this option it will be taking some time I will be skipping this part after code generation is done uh, you will be getting a code report so here at the right side you can find the code that is generated by the uh, embedded coder automatically based on the blocks so you can find the code of this block by just clicking on it so this is the code that is, code that is developed by the embedded coder by, by this block so now open the stm32 cube mx software and then generate the code again Now open the project and the project will be opened in the ARM Kyle MDK software. It will be taking some time. I am just skipping the part. Now we got the uh, all the MATLAB generated code into the ARM Kyle IDE. Now we need to build this project and generate the binary file so that we can flash the file into the STM32. Before flashing the binary file into the STM32, let's go through the uh, hardware and let's check how's the how the connections are so this is the hardware this is the STM32 blue pill and in the blue pill before uh, flashing our binary file into STM32 we need to toggle this binary uh, boot 0 pin from 0 to 1 and we'll be needing one more hardware called the uh, stlink v2 and uh, this is how we will be connecting the uh, connections from the stlink and the stm32 and sw clock of the stlink will be connecting to the uh, sw clock and sw div of this link will be connected to the sw div and the ground to the ground and power to the power and give the connections as it is and uh, let's go on uh, flash the binary values to the stm32 so to generate the binary file uh, we need to build the project just click this option so it will take some time I am just skipping this compiling time after completion of uh, 
compilation you'll be getting uh, something like this build time elapsed and uh, which shows that uh, uh, and which also shows that there are zero errors and zero warnings and now we need to load this binary file into our strlink and if you have made the connections like as uh, as shown previously then just type uh, using this load button should work yeah now the whole binary file has been flashed to my stm32 uh, now let's check the hardware whether it's working or not after flashing the binary files to the stm32 toggle back the boot 0 pin to 0 and then press this reset button after pressing this reset button you should see that uh, inbuilt led starts blinking now you can see the blinking of inbuilt led thank you for watching this video do like this video if you found it helpful if you have any queries post them in the comments or get in touch with us follow us on linkedin facebook and subscribe to our youtube channel education is our future matlab is our future happy matlabbing